Hey, all right. It's time for Super Beard Bowl Season 3. It's the same, but different. You'll see what I mean. You got Alex, you got Brad, and you got a Sega Saturn. And they've stolen every game from the TOVG office. And who knows which one they're going to play? Will it even work? Who knows? It's a very old machine. See you there. The public vote is live this week. So don't miss it. Excelsior. Guys, welcome back to Brett, Alex, and a Sega Saturn. This is episode four. A true classic, something I'm genuinely excited for. Uh, Panzer Dragoon. Have you guys ever played this? Do you God, guys know no. about this? I mean, I know about it. This was like the game where it's like, you have a Sega Saturn? We will now mail you Panzer Dragoon as required by law. Uh, but I, I, It really is but that I, I never, I, like This, this, this uh, didn't appeal to me at all. As a child, so I never touched it. I never wanted to know about it. That being said, today I'm very curious, and I'm glad I'm gonna finally get to look at it. Oh yeah, it's fucking great. All right, uh, let's get in it. Yeah, this was like you don't. Oh yeah, like it just like oh, it, you like... know th there was constantly shots of this in magazines and stuff. I feel like this was uh, if something tells me this was like a launch title for the Saturn, or at least very close. It was uh, close. It's it's first party. It's mm -hmm. a masterpiece. The second one is like even better than this one. Well, uh, same the point style I'm making game. is that I would constantly see shots of it, uh, it, but it just wasn't for me. But it was it was it seemed pervasive in all the gaming magazines that I would beg for my mom to buy me it all the time. You know, it's um, like the equivalent of Zelda for sure. Like, it like seemed on the like system. this was the game that they tried to sell the Sega Saturn with a lot of the time. Yeah, high production value as well. Like, this cutscene right here is, like, nothing now, but at the time, it was, like, a computer game quality cutscene on a, on a, you know, not as good system. So it's pretty amazing, you know, just CD technology making this possible. I wonder how much money they spent porting in these Tauntaun models. <laughs> ah, Bugs Bunny strikes again. Sam now, Lobster. this game is so... This game is really interesting because I think the closest thing to it that I would describe, like gameplay wise, I think like for mm -hmm. the layman, I think mm -hmm. it's like most similar to Star Fox. Sure. But it really isn't that much like Star Fox. It's very, it feels like an arcade game almost. Woo! Got him! Uh, and it has, it has like a deep world. The second one, they like amp the story up even more. And then in the third one, it's a full-on JRPG with, like, world traversal in 3D open world at where you fly around on a dragon. Oh, all right. And it's, like, four discs, and it costs, like, $1,500 today. How long? This is, this is kind of a long opening for a game of this era. This was... I'm telling you, this is, like, an epic... I mean, like, the gameplay aside, this was, like, the <laughs> equivalent to, like, literally, like, Legend of Zelda, like... This was like the game, like that you'd look to. I don't know if there was another other than Knights. I feel like it's this and Knights are the two big Sega Saturn games that everybody like. That's the mascots of the system. Mm hmm. You know. I do. I like do. this was big deal. I just want to see fucking gameplay. I can skip it. Do you want me to? I my vote is for skipping. All right, I'll skip it. Basically, I get a dragon. The guy who used to fly the dragon died, and I am on the dragon now. Hey. So the controls in this game are fucking nuts. So so you can kind of control where you are, but you're on rails. Yeah, I, I, I see what you're saying. fire like this. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's my, like Star Fox. Yeah. Arrows are. Yeah, kind of. But then on top of that, there's also a lock-on system. Sure. Like Star Fox. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh -huh. I can't figure out how to use, but the thing that's unique about it is is that you can do this. Uh oh, like so first like, person for a moment? No, like so see see the see the radar yeah, up top? Uh, I assume that was your cone of vision. Yeah, so I can rotate my cone of vision ninety degrees at a time. Oh, okay. Like if I want to just keep following them, I can just go to the side and follow them. And if I go to the I can go behind me and fire at guys. Because it truly is like a 3D environment where stuff's happening all around you. 
I got gotcha. you. You have to like so dodge. You, do you have to choose like between four settings for your cone of vision? Ninety degrees, like you said, or is it just like free form? It's R and L, so you rotate in like chunks. I see. So four chunks. Yeah. Interesting. Exactly. Okay. Okay. And then, like, certain boss fights and stuff, like, the different stages of the fights, like, you move to parts of the boss, and it's kind of like, oh, like, I'm supposed to be looking this way, but then there's, like, guys over here. It's, like, a lot more than Star Fox because of that. Like, you really have to, like, <laughs> get it's, good it's, at this game. It's better game than Star like, Fox. Be- Damn it, it's better. I, I mean, honestly, probably Star Fox is the, like, game that is hold, holds up better today without a remake, right? But, but, uh... It's just a deeper system by a lot. Like you really like the 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 like I can't beat this game right now. Probably I'll probably die before I beat it. I like the music. It's amazing music, but that's what I'm saying. It's surprisingly big budget. Like for as simple as this game is, this is like a type of like indie arcade game that would come out today. But like this was like the game. This might also like be in the same universe as Waterworld, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, kind of, right? Though, Waterworld would be a different movie if there was fucking dragons in it. I'm telling you, last reel of that movie, just throw one dragon in and people just don't talk about it. Have you seen that movie, uh, uh, the dragon movie with Matthew McConaughey? Uh, what is that called? It's called, like, Reign of Fire. Yeah, I've never seen it. I watched it recently with Davis and Jesse. What a, what a treat. All right. What a just place and time sort of movie. I'd be down to watch that and rip on it. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a good one. Is Christian Bale in that? He's yeah, it's Christian Bale and and uh, Matthew McConaughey and there's like every tough guy British guy that you know who's not famous in America is, is in Vinnie it. Is Vinnie Jones in it? Uh, actually, I don't think so. Oh, okay. But he's kind of like too scary for that movie. <laughs> okay. This is like cool. the movie still is like mostly hot people. I just like this uh, environment. This is cool. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you, Sega Whoa. had something. This is like a full-on situation. This game, like this game, they remade it recently. There's like a there's like a HD version on the Switch, and I think on the other stuff too. But it's definitely on the Switch. It's very good. I can see how this would blow people's minds if you were to like, let's say you just had a Genesis before this, right? Which is certainly plausible. And the thing you're yeah. coming off of is like, oh, let's say Vector Man, right? Like, right. Let's say you're playing Vector Man, which looked really good on the fucking Genesis. And you play, you know, this this is going to blow your mind just based off of spectacle alone, man. I mean, like Sega Rally, right? It's one thing, right? Because I understand driving. I understand. That's like something that I can conceive of. Right. But the inventiveness here, too, like the idea that like this is what I'm doing with these graphics and like this is what's what the concept is, is like nuts. You know what I mean? Kind of. Like that's, that's like just mentally, this, this type of game was not a thing. That's still I, kind I of just, not a uh, thing. Yeah, there's just certain, you know, angles of gameplay that, that are, that are present here that I don't think at the time were expressed in many places looking like yeah. this. Like you said, you know, Star Fox existed, but you know, Star Fox, Star Fox, let's be honest, it looked like a bunch of fucking polygons, and, you know, yeah, like, and there's some polygons being slanged, you know, there's some polygons here, don't don't (sighs) get me wrong, but, like, yeah, like I said, it's it's a particular combination of this type of gameplay, these types of angles, and uh, this kind of fidelity, I'm, like, trying to put myself back then, and and I think that's probably why I didn't like games like this at the time, I guess what I'm saying was, like, was anybody else out there like me, like, at the time, let's, let's put it, what are we saying, 1995, right, yeah, was there anybody else I out there like me? I think this came out of 96, maybe. Okay. Was there anyone else out there remember. that like wasn't ready to move on? Like, I wasn't ready to move on past 2D games yet. My, that's like, me like, now. My little brain couldn't do it, you know? Yeah, that's me now, still. <laughs> I play more arcade games than I play real games any day of the week. Hey, hey, hey. Arcade games are real games, okay? I mean, we're in the support group of old men where we know the truth, but in the world, they don't count as real games. Mm. Yeah, Still I would see credit. things. I would see like 3D looking fighting games and reject them. Be like, no, I do. I yeah. want nothing to do with it. That's why I still love like Metroidvanias more than anything, or like a JRPG that looks like it could be on Super Nintendo. That's like hype for me. 
I mean, I'm not like I, stubborn. I, like you know. I have a friend that doesn't want to play any games that look like cartoons and like not real fidelity. Is his name Ted? I remember those people who no. would like not watch any animated <laughs> movies or cartoons ever because it was animated. You know? Yeah, or black and white shit. I'm like, God damn it. Yeah. Like it's so close minded. Yeah. There's something even now, like Sega Saturn aesthetic is like palpable. Like in the same way that like Super Nintendo or PS1 has an aesthetic, this has its own distinct aesthetic. And like that is worth exploring and celebrating now. You know what I'd I mean? I'd be hard like, pressed to find the difference between the Sega Saturn aesthetic and the PSX one. I Here's can't the tell the fucking you show difference. Me two, if you show me the same game on both, I will almost guaranteed guess the right one to well, each one. Well, that seems like something that we could put together and put wagers on, huh? I literally would be down to test my knowledge. I feel test pretty good about knowledge. it. 32 bit. Uh, uh, what is it called? The uh, Pepsi Challenge? Yeah, 32 bit Pepsi Challenge. I could do that. Oh! I, uh, I was playing Sonic this Mania a guys. one time, and my cousin saw it, and he was like, This looks bad, like old games bad. How old is your cousin? <laughs> he's, uh, I think he's in his 40s. Older Wait, than he you. was there, motherfucker. He was there. What is he talking about? Yeah, he's like, this looks like when I was growing up, like, this looks bad. <laughs> I was like, I don't, how do I explain this to you? <sighs> I would be like, what would you do if you had $1 million and you wanted to make a video game? <laughs> that would be like if somebody was watching a movie and then the movie used an establishing shot for a new location and somebody was like, whoa. That's this looks bad. That was an establishing shot. They've been doing that for a long time. Like what? What are you talking about? <laughs> that was an establishing shot. <laughs> Whoa. I can like hammer this button. You're like, wait a minute, dialogue. They've been speaking in movies since nineteen thirty mm -mm, get that. that's old. That's bad. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's the same thing when I hear I people be like, This song it just sounds old. I'm like what do you? What the fuck but does, does that sound mean? good to you? Yeah. Like, <sighs> sounds old. It's like so. Like, it's like saying like my brain it can't handle it. That's what it sounds like to me. Like I don't like movies with horses. They're an old mode of transportation. <laughs> If it's somebody told me that, I would have to respect it, because, like, we that doesn't sound now. like they're being ignorant. That sounds like something happened to them, you know? <laughs> that's, that's true, that's true. I don't watch, no. I have a friend, I have a friend who gets really angry whenever they hear about monkeys doing people stuff. Why? Because they're horning in just on them, stuff? What's up? Just makes them mad, yeah. Grr. He's like, he's not supposed to be doing that. <laughs> Maybe your friend, like, has some knowledge about the future, about, like, when Planet of the Apes is going to happen, and he just doesn't know when, you know? Maybe they just, like, hated that movie. Hmm. Dr. Sayus scared the shit out of him. The lady I used to teach improv with, she always gets freaks out whenever, like, I show her videos of animals doing human shit, so I just send it to her all the time. In the good <laughs> way or the bad way? What do you mean? Like, in a way where they're pleased by this? No, they hate it. Or she hates oh. it. She hates it. Can I know who this is? Do I know who this person yeah, is? Yeah, it's Parga. She hates it. Oh my god. So really? I'll send her like a bear that walking like on such two legs thing. and shit. I'm like, look at this. You know. What do you think about this? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? <laughs> What's that guy's name on South Park? I don't He's know. trying to be like a late night host. He's like, Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Oh, oh, that sounds name? like a Jay Leno impression. Yeah, but it's the kid. Oh, fuck. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Talking about Jimmy? Yeah, I think it might be Jimmy. Have you heard about this? Have you seen this? You heard about this? Yeah, I'm getting like... Yeah, we went from Waterworld to Dune, brother. <laughs> I mean, you're 100% right. What's next? Let's see. Let's see. There's like uh, too much water. I don't think I'm going to... Not enough I water. Make it. What's an apocalyptic movie where the water level's just Ice. right? Uh, Terminator. Just, amount, just oh, yeah. the right amount of water in Terminator. You mean just like now, normal? <laughs> yep. How about right now? Yeah. 1992, Los Angeles. That's yep. that's my that's my sweet spot. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, it's a I fellow believe. dragon. Wait, where? I, it's a, oh it's, yeah, it's another it's another dragon rider guy. Whew. 
I'm really having trouble, like, with these controls again. Would you say that they're old and bad? <laughs> no, they're just backwards. I had the chance to change them in the menu, and I was like, nah, I'm gonna do it the regular way. Would you say that they're better than Star Fox? Uh... No, well, here's the thing. If I had the controller from Knights, oh. I think they would be about as good. Oh. And I know there's also a special, like, joystick setup for this game. Hmm. Uh, which I could have set up. I, ha I actually got the Sega Saturn mission stick uh, for Christmas this year. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did somebody travel uh, back in time to get you your gift? That's crazy. It was Derek, man. He went all out. It was crazy. Oh, thanks, Derek. Oh, no! You know you're good. You got hit, I think, but you're still in there. Where'd he go? Oh, shit. There he oh, Ooh. fuck. Yeah, man. Keeping track Dude, of your enemy is so how are you hard. Supposed to Especially when he's close like this. Back off. Dude, where are you, bro? He's right in front. I'm gonna have to be your spotter, baby. I'm gonna help yeah, you. Yeah, it's hard. Woo! Oh, shit. I hit the wrong button. I'm almost got him. I can't believe I'm not dead. You got this, baby. I'm watching. I'm spotting for you. He's still at 12. My god, am I gonna beat him? Nice job, dude. Oh my dude. god, I fucking beat him. Oh. And now the dragons Hello? will mate. Forcibly. Out. <laughs> oh. Dude, is he? Is oh, he? Was, oh no. Was there another rider or was that just like an, a wild dragon? I think that was another dragon uh, fighter. Like, I think that's what they do in this well, game. I, I didn't see like another dragons. fighter unless you shot him off the dragon. Maybe he's maybe he's got a little hutch. <laughs> maybe he just climbs in there. Ew. He's got a little cockpit. Ew. Are we just right onto a boss fight again? I'm surprised they don't refill your health completely. I know, it's brutal. Alright, so what movie is this? Th this could uh, be the future in Terminator, maybe? It's kind of like... Star Wars. Hmm, yeah, but which planet? Like, nighttime Tatooine? Maybe. Looks a little like, um... I don't know, something on a never-ending story, you know? Like, I'm in, like, a Jabba the Hutt's barge Well, that, vibe. yeah, that definitely looks, that evokes Jabba's barge, for sure, what you're shooting at. Shit. Oh my god. It's so crazy that I have to, like, dodge stuff, too. Did I kill it? Oh my god. Is that the Arc of Triumph? Doing... What's going on there? I need to do a lot more locking on. Woo! Hey! What the f- Whoa. Am I good? Whoa, I good? what's going on on the left there? It's like an Whoa. oil situation? You're harming our planet! Am I the bad guy? You're definitely the bad guy. Am I? Maybe these guys are bad. <laughs> People who think of things in terms of- Good and bad guys, guys are the same people who are like, nah, I don't want to watch that. It looks old. <laughs> Here's the thing. In a video game, sometimes there's the bad guys. Yeah, in a poorly written video game. <laughs> I mean, roasted, but I mean, I don't know how much more <laughs> complex we want Ma Mario to be. No, 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 no. Oh, You're just not thinking about Bowser enough. You're not thinking. Bowser, I mean, look, he does play tennis with the man. That's what I'm saying. I just love that moment in a video game. Where uh -huh. the designer makes you like question if you're like I might be playing the bad guy. Did you play uh, Detroit Become Human? Yeah, that was a good one. That had a lot of moral choices. <laughs> yeah, also, <laughs> I'm, it, it reminds me of uh, G GTA protagonists. They always make me laugh because of like. It's very clear that the narrative in GP GTA is there to set up unique gameplay situations, and even more so, just like, you know, comical interactions narratively, right? Uh, sure. And a lot of the time, like, you're such a, like, the GTA protagonists, for the most part, are such non-ass oh. characters. Uh, th like, you need, like, you need a character who can, like, feasibly agree to any and all of the missions in the game, right? And there's yeah. so many missions that that's hard to think of as a person who would do 
you know, kill the president's daughter as well as protect the babies, right? Like, right. it's hard to conceive of a character to do that. So what a lot of GTA protagonists end up being are people who go like, you want me to do what? Man, I don't know why I get myself involved in this stuff. And then the mission starts and they never think about it again. You know what I mean? And every yeah. time that happens, I laugh. Like I guess it's I will. it's very clear like hand wavy stuff and I get why they're doing it. It's Aww. very funny to me. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be talking so much during your ride. My bad, my bad. No, it's okay. I was in I was on board. I have credits. <sighs> oh wow, you do. I've earned a couple credits. Though I know we're getting close here. Uh, or we're starting the mission over. Oh, you have full health now. Oh, it's now. just... Oh. That's actually... Probably good. He's polluting the air! Oh my it, god! Turns out this is actually my reboot of Ca Captain Planet. What the fuck? Where the captain <laughs> isn't a humanoid with a green mullet. Instead, he's like a dragon thing. Oh, he's like a, I thought you were going to say he's like a pirate captain. <laughs> oh, shit. We're going that direction. Okay, got it. <laughs> captain That's what Brad I wanted to do, man. Pirate? I want to keep the air clean. I, like, right around 2008, I became obsessed for a couple weeks with writing a, like a like a comic book a reboot of Captain Planet, where the Planeteers were all, like, they weren't, like, bad or anything, but they were, like, they weren't squeaky clean friends out of nowhere. Like... Because, like, these are all people with, like, language barriers and different backgrounds and uh, cultures, right? Like, I wanted to make fucking uh, uh, Kwame, I wanted to make him, like, a Rwandan death soldier and shit. You know what I mean? Who all of yeah, a sudden like gets handed this shit. power and responsibility of protecting the planet. I wanted to do that. That's awesome. I think that there could be a good Captain Planet. Sure, there could be a good anything, for sure. I just mean, like... The synergy of a good writer and a good idea and, like, actually companies that want to spend money on it to make it. Well, you're describing a white whale. You're describing a miracle, but it has happened before. Yeah, it can happen. I, I just feel like it could happen. Like, you know, the world is kind of fucked right now. Like, Captain Planet, maybe he's the guy we need. Oh, man. I would write the shit out of that. Like, We are a yeah. hundred minutes to midnight for the third year in a row or something. Right, right. I would make... I would probably leave Mati alone. He's the only one I wouldn't touch. My my, I'm more interested in the third arc w where they find out that every planet has a Captain Planet. Yeah, okay. So, like, there's Captain Mars and shit? And yeah. Captain Mars, like, used to be Captain Planet? But the yeah, Martian the civilization failed, and that's why it's all exactly. desolate now? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I would he's rock like, that. He's like the Wolverine of Captain Planets. <laughs> he's just been there. He's like the last living thing on Mars. But he's very weak because there's very little Who life left Captain on Mars. Planet? Uh, Deke, probably. I don't know. Deke. <laughs> you remember Deke? Deke. Deke. All the shows that weren't that good, but they were kind of good, that was Deke. I don't know. I think Ninja Turtles is on Deke, but and maybe I just proved your point. That's okay. <laughs> Ninja Turtles, the show was not like good television all the exactly. time. Exactly. Like, well, well yeah. look, I, look, that's why I hate using terms like good and bad. Uh, I loved Ninja Turtles as a kid, obviously, but like going back and watching it, you know, it's a little hard for me. Like, you know. Yeah. Magic School Bus. Magic School Same way. Bus? <laughs> you remember. Right on the Magic School Bus! I forgot that Malcolm Jamal Warner was the voice of like the one of the teachers in the uh, like after episode little uh, PSAs. Oh, dude, I forgot about those. You remember? Like, like that's when the kids would actually call Magic School Bus and shit. Yeah. And by kids, I mean I totally remember actors, that. child actors. Yeah. I mean, they're probably still kids. <laughs> I said child Hopefully. actors. Yeah. Magic School Bus. <laughs> Rock and River of Lava on the Magic School Bus. I remember as a kid when I realized that was Little Richard. And then I felt much better about Magic School. Like, I already liked Magic School, so I'm like, this is cool. Yeah. And then I realized it was Little Richard on the track, and I was like, oh, this is dope then. This is tight. Shout outs to him for saying yes to that. <laughs> he wasn't, listen, he wasn't doing much else. Come on. I know, but you know what? I'll tell you what. The rock uh -huh. and roll thing went way longer than you think. Like, people used to care about old shit. Hmm. Like, remember how long we used to watch Into Our Lives? How long we used to watch I Love Lucy? Right, right. We, we have this conversation once every two months, and I still agree with it. Uh, but yeah, you're right. Like, look, Little Richard, I'm sure, got work long into his life, like across many places. 
Uh, a lot of it like Magic School Bus, you know? When was did that he Lily die? Tomlin who did the voice of Miss Frizzle? Is that who that was? Is that right? I think so. That's amazing. I did not know that. Hey guys, by the way, we've been oh. playing Panzer Dragoon. Dude, it's great. <laughs> Look at this fucking boss. Yeah, this is pretty- I mean, it looks fucking cool. I'm telling you, like... I- I can appreciate, uh, the- what's the word I'm looking for? Um... I can appreciate this thing's place in video game history contextually. You know what I mean? Yeah. This was I'm a big step. Just having, I'm just genuinely having fun with it, too. Like, it's still pretty good. Which is surprising for how it looks, I would say. I'm still trying to figure out what, like, particular movies, like, apocalyptic hellscape this looks like to me. I think this is, like... Like, maybe, like, like Blade Runner? Oh! What? Blade Runner is like a cityscape! But you know, like, you know, like, when you go outside of the town and you just see, like, dark, and then there's just, like, some factory, you know, like... Like, outskirts Blade Runner? Kind of has, like, a Blade Runner vibe, no? <laughs> uh, maybe. I can't, like, when I think Blade Runner, dude, I think Megapolis. You know what I mean? Or maybe, like, LV426 colony um, type. You know what? I can kind of see that. Like, a uh, yeah. But once again, yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, on Earth. Like, what would- what does this look like? Oh, shit. Mad Max? Maybe. I think of desert when I think of Mad Max, though. I could be wrong on that, I don't know. Are we not in the desert? I can't tell, it just looks brown to me. To me, I'm like, this is Utah. <laughs> Actually, this is present-day Utah, you guys. Yeah. This is just You see the temple back there? Set you see it? In Utah. Oh! Oh! Dude, that little sound of my guy screaming is yeah, so upsetting. is that your dragon? Upsetting. I don't know if it's supposed to be me or the dragon or what, but it sounds heart-wrenching. Listen, if it's you, it's okay. If it's your dragon, please never get hit again. I know. Where are you going, you bastard? It's on your 06. I thought he was in the air. All right, hold on. Love it, love it. He's so close to death. I don't know what to do in these situations. <gasps> What kind of rope a dope shit? I got him. No? Did I? I don't think so. Oh, He's got a little bit of what? health left, maybe. Watch yourself. It's on your 12. Oh shit, it's just the fucking. No? Oh yeah. You almost got him. Whoa, nice job. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, okay. I feel like uh, you've helped me solve a little bit of a mystery that I've had going on since I was a kid. I now know what Panzer what Dragoon Panzer plays Dragoon? like. Yeah, so thank you it's for that. It's not a tank game, which a lot of people seem to think it is because of the weird-ass name of it. Oh, Panzer... You're right, yeah. Huh. But it is an armored dragon, so I kind of get it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I think that's exactly why it's called that, but... And thank you for solving yet another mystery for right there. Okay. Yeah. Uh... And thank you guys at home for watching, too. Hopefully you dug it. We're only halfway through our journey with the Sega Saturn, so hopefully you'll tune in next time. We're going to play something else. Yeah, this has been episode four. See that? <laughs> See that? It's like cool. we planned oh. it. Until next time, we've been the Beard Bros. Keep rocking, baby. Bye. See ya. Don't.